tell you about what this is about. China is also called Huzi. Hu stands for the beauty of the garments, while Zia stands for the greatness of etiquette. Therefore, Huzia is a land that housed that is housed, housed by a group of elegant people wearing beautiful attire. Hanfu is a word to describe ancient Chinese customs worn by Han people, a majority population throughout Chinese history. However, the culture lapsed during Qing dynasties when the ruler requested the whole country to wear Qing cultural clothing. The famous Kui Pao, which most use on the image of Chinese ladies, is actually descended from Kui Fan, the, main, the man minority, Kui Fu, sorry, the man minority group that were ruling China at that time. Now, the uprising Hanfu Act is bringing back those gorgeous wardrobes from history and incorporating them into modern appeal. This segment is performed by Orlando Hanfu Club. The King Han dynasties is characterized by multiple ceremonial states. Those gowns are graceful. The Weijing dynasties. The upper society is relatively rich. People advocate nature, transcendence, frankness, and self-admiration. The clothing is more light and flowing, coupled with rich jewelry reflecting the style of luxury, artistic, and passionate. In the Shu Tang dynasties, the, the country was stable. The economy was prosperous. Cultural undertakings developed in an all-around way, and the feudal culture had reached its peak. Open borders welcomed all foreign countries. The clothing in this stage are open-minded, with a pioneering spirit, romantic and colorful.
love to have you guys come up and, and we highlight the different dynasties. dynasties that we that we we were talking about as you guys came on stage and if we could have those of you just step forward wait please don't leave please don't leave <laughs> don't leave Yari if you guys could help us to organize this feast just so we are aware of which are which dynasties Qin oh. Han please step forward Qin Han Dynasty's characteristics are characterized by multiple ceremonial states. These gowns are graceful. Next one, Wei Jin. Wei Jin, please step forward. Wei Jin Dynasties, the upper societies is relatively rich. People advocate nature, transcendence, frankness, and self-admiration. The clothing is more light and flowing, coupled with rich jewelry. Next one is Sui Tao. So during the Sui Tao dynasties, the country was stable, the economy was prosperous, the cultural undertakings developed in an all-around way, and the feudal culture had reached its peak. Open borders welcomed all foreign countries. Clothing was open-minded with a pioneering spirit, romantic and colorful. Song Dynasty, please step forward. Song Dynasty is highly developed economically, technologically, and culturally. However, it is influenced by Confucius teaching. The clothing is more conservative, and women's social state was starting to shift within the family roles. Yong Dynasty, please step forward. Yuan Dynasty, Yuan Chao. Ming Chao, please step forward. And the modern hand food draws up. Thank you. Thank you. Big round of applause again. Ching Chao, please step forward. Ching. <laughs> Thank you. Big round of applause for all of our volunteers again who modeled. Please, thank you all. You're helping us to learn more. Yes, thank you, ma'am. 